So you want to run two apps side by side or to get technical in split screen on your Android phone running Android 13. Well, things have changed a little bit with this update and in this Android basics video, we're going to show you just how to get it running. Thanks for watching 95 Google here on YouTube. Remember to thumbs up, hit subscribe and then tap the bell icon to be among the first to watch our upcoming videos. Let's start off with a few precursors before we fully dive in. Of course, as screens do get larger, you might want to open two apps side by side to take advantage of that extra real estate. This is great, but the method has actually become a little bit more convoluted in recent years and with recent Android updates, although it is still relatively easy to enable and familiar if you've done it previously. So to get started, first you'll want to open up the first application that you want to use in split screen multitasking. Now, depending on your navigation method that you're using, you'll need to enter the recent apps menu. For the gesture navigation, just swipe up from the home bar, or if you're using the three button method, just tap the recent app or square button, which is on your screen. Now navigate to the app that you want to use first, and depending on your device, You'll either want to tap the kebab menu in the upper right or on some devices like those from Samsung and Google's on Pixel phones, tap and hold the small app icon above the preview of the application itself to activate another mini menu. From here, you can tap split top as it is shown on Pixel phones or split screen. On Samsung phones though, running One UI 5.0, this process has been streamlined even further still as long pressing the app icon will just instantly allow you to place it at either the side of your screen to initiate that split screen mode. To select a secondary app, which will appear on your screen alongside that first one you've chosen, you can choose from the recent app switcher or alternatively close and select an app right from your home screen. Samsung phones will just instantly open the app drawer in the lower half of your screen once you've long pressed and held that app icon. Now, once you've selected a secondary app, both halves of your display will be filled with your app selections. And if you have auto rotate enabled, turning landscape or turning your phone into landscape mode should result in the apps rotating accordingly and each moving left or right. You can resize each application as well to give them a little bit more real estate or to adjust these as you see fit. You can do this by tapping and holding that black middle bar and dragging up or down or left or right, depending on your phone orientation. However, it's worth noting that this might not work on your device when in that landscape mode. Double tapping that middle black bar will also switch the position of any open apps on Pixel phones. On Samsung devices, a double tap will open up a mini menu where you can tap the arrow icon to alternate the app position on your screen accordingly. If you do like a specific app pairing, for instance, Chrome and Twitter, just tap that star icon to favorite this to your home screen for quick access to direct split screen access when you do need it with those applications that you've chosen. Dragging that little black bar to the top of your display will also maximize that bottom application and dragging to the bottom of your screen will maximize that top application. This is also a speedy way to exit split screen multitasking on your device. Android 13 though does add a new element here to be aware of. If you happen to swipe up or press the home button to exit split screen altogether, you can actually restore these app pairs as they're held in the recent apps menu. And this just lets you reopen right where you left off or dismiss as you deem necessary. Well, that's basically all there is to multitasking in Android 13. This process is almost identical in Android 12, but without that app pair functionality baked in. It's also worth noting that not all Android apps will support split screen viewing with games being a notable problematic area. Should the game or app not support split screen view, it may appear as a black or blank portion of your display if you do try and initiate it. Unfortunately, you will need to use these apps in full screen mode to use them, although you can use the floating YouTube or video picture in picture mode player to watch videos while running these apps and games. Of course, if you have any questions about split screen multitasking in Android 13, then pop them down in the comment sections below. And thanks for watching our Android Basics series, which is here to help you get the most from your Android devices.